And welcome back. It's time once again to talk to Council of Churches about doing good here in our community. Once again, Michelle Delcor is back, and you brought Tim Faulkner. Nope. Tom. Tom. I'm sorry. Did I say Tim? You did. We just talked about how we threw one Tom out for another. What am I thinking? <laughs> I know. But if you want to call me Tim, we'll go for No, that. I'm going with Tom <laughs> always. All right. We're going to talk about cross lines. We're going to talk about a big weekend coming up yes. for you all. First of all, though, Michelle, let's talk about poverty in the Ozarks and its effect on children because it's not good and poverty is a huge problem. Absolutely. Really, one in four people in Greene County right now are living at below, at or below the poverty level. And people don't realize how that can affect a child. It, it's not only that they're hungry, but when they're hungry, they don't learn well. When they're hungry, they, they have trouble focusing at school. There's so many things that it can affect um, in their daily lives other than just that thing that we think about with just being hungry. Yeah, and how does Cross Lines help with all this? You address so many needs, but talk a little bit about poverty. We do. Cross Lines is just amazing. It's because it's volunteers in the community. So it's literally the neighbors of neighbors helping each other out. Um, there's between three and 500 volunteers that come in each month to operate the programs and the services at Cross Lines. Um, we serve about 70,000 duplicated folks a year. Mm -hmm. um, we say duplicated, but we're still putting groceries in those carts and getting them out to those families. So for us, that's a new person every time that it comes in. And uh, we become the primary food source for folks in poverty as, uh, for a food pantry in Greene County. Right. And um, so it's it's amazing that, that our neighbors come together to make that happen and that um, they not only help serve, but they also provide the means to make that happen, the two million pounds of food that we do, distribute every year. It's, it's amazing. amazing. It is a well-oiled machine. And there's not a lot of people on the payroll there. There's some people that work there, but most of the people who make it happen are volunteers. Five. Five people. Five people work 70, there. 70,000 people. I mean, is that amazing? If that doesn't say what in terms of how many volunteers that you need, and we're going to get into that in just a few minutes, but you have a huge event coming up on Saturday. What yes. is that? That is our uh, Cross Lines Holiday Toy Store and Food Distribution, and we are going to have 2,500 plus families coming through. Um, actually, it's more than that. It's, it's 2,500 well, children, 1,100 oh. families coming mm -hmm. through. And so about 4,000 people total will be served on Saturday with food and toys. And it's amazing to see all the people coming through. It is. I was there, actually. This is a little bit of video from when the Thanksgiving, the Thanksgiving. happened. And it... Like I said, it's a well-oiled machine. People meet you at the door. You have signed up in advance, so yes. they know you know that they are coming. And then when you say food, they get enough to take home and have a nice holiday dinner with their family, depending on how many family members. Yeah. Right. It is based on family size. Right. So they'll get a you know a large 10 to 12 pound turkey, um, cranberry sauce, the brownies, um, fresh potatoes, bread, all that kind of stuff that comes with a regular uh, Christmas meal for families. Right. And they, they actually, the, the volunteers at Cross Lines actually deliver it straight out to the car. Right. Yeah. So they get people in and they move them through and they get them out again. Now, the toys. You mentioned to me when you walked in the studio, mm -hmm. you're short on toys this year and that's not good. Yes. We're or short about 500 toys this year for mm -hmm. us to be able to um, really fulfill the need this Saturday. And um, I, I tell you, last year, one of my volunteer things was I went around and I helped families pick out the toys. So the parents get to go and actually pick out a toy. We're not just handing them toys and saying, here, go wrap these for your kids. They get to go to different stations, pick out the toy that fits their kid the best. And if, if we don't have enough toys sitting out on the table for them to choose, they may not be getting the thing that they really know that their kid's going to want. And I know that some parents will forego the food and get in the toy line because they want to get their kids something meaningful for Christmas. And as a parent, that's really striking to me. Right. At this point, because it's late in the game, mm -hmm. the easiest way for our viewers to help you out is cash donations? Yes, absolutely. Okay. Cash donations will work the easiest because then we can just go out and buy the toys that we know that we're missing at the moment. And the great thing is, is we do have a $100,000 challenge going on right now, which means every dollar is matched dollar for dollar. So you donate $10, we get to buy $20 worth of toys. Okay, so you, if you, it's the giving season, and we've asked you to give a lot. In fact, today on our Facebook page, you may have seen this, we're still asking for people to donate books for the RSVP yes. Reading Buddies program. Mm -hmm. All you have to do is go to our Facebook page, mm -hmm. click through the link, it takes you straight to Amazon, and the books are delivered straight to you. How's it going so far? Oh my goodness, it is so amazing to Good. see all those packages come in of books. It, it, I tell you, the director, every time she opens a new one, she is just absolutely <laughs> in awe of all the books that are in the box 
process. How it's not exciting. just usually one book. Okay, if mm -hmm. people want to volunteer, and uh, Council of Churches has so many places to volunteer, what's the best link to do that? Crosslinesholiday.org. Okay, Just cool. as simple as that, and then there's links to the different uh, positions that are open. So they can actually pick and choose whether they want to be a, a shopper helper or they want to carry Fun. out, um, yeah. and, uh, and if they want to bring their families, we, we encourage that mm -hmm. because we oh, want sure. this to be a family experience. Yeah. So if they have little ones that they want to help carry some groceries out for some families, mm -hmm. we would love it. Okay. That's all happening this Saturday. Tom Faulkner and Michelle Delcour from Council of Churches and Crosslines. Thank you all so much for all you do. Thank you. See you this weekend. Okay, up next, Chef Perry is back in the Ozarks Live Kitchen whipping up some sweet and sour chicken with his own twist. It's going to be delicious. Don't go away. Hey, Chef.